My name is Nancy White. I'm the director of the Coastal Studies Institute. The point of building a lead building is to try to make sure that you're doing the things that need to be done in order to try to minimize your impact on the environment. Some of the more basic practices are just energy efficiency and the reduction in energy usage reduces our carbon impact and our carbon footprint and those are some of the most basic issues. The acronym LEED, L-E-E-D, it stands for Leadership in Energy and Environmental Design. The Research and Administration Building achieved a gold LEED rating. Our landscaping budget was reduced. We chose to spend the money on other features and so what we did, we had a special seed mix made that includes grasses and wildflowers that are native to this region. That seed mix was hydro seeded over the entire site to provide stormwater control, erosion control, and to restore the site. We're going to allow the natural succession process to occur here so that we'll have native trees and shrubs that will come up, but we jump started it with this hydro seeding mixture. Water efficiency is an important component of any lead or green building. We achieved greater water efficiency in several ways. We collect 48,000 gallons in cisterns from the roof of the research building, and we use that water for outdoor purposes such as washing boats, things like that, and also for flushing the toilets in the building. We've, we've managed to achieve a 32% reduction of water usage for a building this size. CSI is achieving energy cost savings of 46%. This is due to an improved thermal envelope, that's what wraps around the building. All the glass you see is highly rated for energy efficiency. We have a highly reflective roof that reflects the sun's energy back off of the building and a high efficiency HVAC system. We were able to use quite a few regional materials too. About 24% of the materials on the campus were procured within 500 miles of the campus site, which is pretty impressive when you consider that to the east of us is the Atlantic Ocean. So we had half of that radius to work with. We achieved about a 95% rating in daylighting, which means that most of our spaces are lit naturally. The lighting fixtures are harvesting fixtures, and that means they detect how much light is in the room and they only burn when needed. I think it's important for us to set an example and to provide an opportunity for the general public to come here and see what the latest and greatest ideas are for saving energy. Most of the features for saving energy and for meeting the LEED standards in this building can be applied at home. I think it's really important for people to understand that there are solutions to the problems that we face today. But we know that state buildings are expected to last for 50 years, and I have no doubt at all that this one will stand the test of time.